Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Analysis Channel. Thank you for joining us. We're sitting here once again with Sean. We want to have a dialogue today about all the potential applications of our technology. But first off, Sean, how are you doing? I'm doing great. Um, happy Wednesday. Happy Wednesday. Happy hump day, everybody. We're going to make it through this week. So, Sean, tell us, what are the current applications you guys are running with? And then after that, we can extrapolate into some future ones. Sure. So, um, you know, our, our customers today are sort of hardcore industrial customers and they, and they use our products to, um, to analyze uh, petrochemicals. So in a, in, a, in a refinery or in a, in a downstream processing plant, they want to know the, the harmful components and the helpful components, the part, parts that make them more money and the, and the parts that, um, you know, gunk up their equipment. So they, they use our products to analyze those. We have a ton of cannabis customers who use it to quantify THC um, and CBD in their products. It's another example. We have customers who want to analyze their olive oil at different points in, in, the, in, the, in the supply chain uh, to make sure that it hasn't gotten adulterated with you know, cheap soy oil and, and, and things like that. Um, so that's just a smattering of the types of applications for our analyzer products today. And then, of course, we also have the medical imaging products today uh, that that you know generate images of a human being's brain and so on. And, and those products uh, we sell through our OEM partners today. Yeah, that makes sense. I mean, aside from healthcare, quality control, uh, maintenance, there's definitely a lot of applications. So, like, let's let's look to the future a little bit, open our minds up a little. Tell me where you could see this coming into play, where it's not yet there. Yeah. So. Um, you know, the, the really great thing about our technology platform and, and magnetic resonance in general is that it can be used for many different types of applications. So that's the exciting uh, a part of it. And, and you know, you know our, as I've stated, our, our vision is to disrupt the MRI place for medical imaging. And, and the vision that I have is that, you know, uh, you or I or anybody else would be able to make an appointment at their local pharmacy, go down and sit in a very comfortable chair in something that doesn't look like an MRI machine, Mm -hmm. um, and then have an MRI done of their prostate or, or some other organ in their pel pelvis, whether male or female, um, and then have some really fancy AI um, driving it and, and, and looking at the organ. And then you get a pleasant message saying something like, there's no problem with your prostate, no need to consult your doctor. So really preventative stuff that you know, makes the world a better place. So that's, that's where I think our products can go. And that's the vision that we have for the company. Yeah, you know, the, the current system when it comes to MRIs is, is very cumbersome right now. I mean, the machines are absolutely gigantic and the cost of maintaining, let alone buying one, is astronomical. About to say, it's, it's just not a good system for people who just have something small and they need to go get it checked up. Sometimes you're waiting an incredibly long time, as you know, and it's going to cost a very large amount of money, which unfortunately what that actually turns out being is a lot of people not getting diagnostics, which they need to catch something early. So by the time something has been going on and that you are aware of it, it's way too late or now it's going to take significantly more costly treatment, which burdens the whole system. Yeah, no, you're absolutely right. And, and you know, um, there's a cartel in place on the MRI side, and it's made up of GE, Siemens, and Philips. And, and there was a time when these big players were good for, for MRIs and for healthcare because of the massive amount of investment required. But like a lot of cartels, you know, today they're stifling innovation. And, yeah. and, the, and, and the machines that are in hospitals today are not reflective of the current state of the art of the science and the technology. Um, you know, we made a really exciting announcement in, in, in January, and if people want to Google it, Google Analysis and Gamma MRI, uh, we won a competitive bid in the European Union with several other partners uh, to develop next generation MRI technology to detect um, smaller tumors earlier. Um, and then by, by extension, um, cheaper equipment, uh, an equipment that could be deployed more, more widely. So, um, you know, so we're really excited about the things that we can do there and, and to start to make the system, um, you know, work the way it should be, you know, according to the current um, state of the art of the science. Yeah, exactly. You know, while, while there, there will always be, the, you know, the kings on their throne, somewhat stifling innovation, there's always going to be other companies coming up saying, hey, we got we got the next thing. We're the bleeding edge here. And they stand a good chance, right? And it's important to support companies like that. So 
Thank you everybody for watching, first of all. And if you guys have any questions about how an analysis is on the bleeding edge technology or anything else going on at the company, please let us know. We'll happily dive into that too. Sean, do you have any parting words? No, I'd just like to wish everybody a, a, a great day and please uh, contact me anytime you want. I love talking to existing and, and potential new shareholders. So thanks very much, Michael. Appreciate it. Wonderful, Sean. Thank you for joining.